Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Fantasy Star 4 The End of the Millennium. Before we leave town and head to that cave, you might notice why this is very odd. We can go around the edge of town and not end up on the world map. What madness is this? Why surely this leads to some kind of incredible secret and oh my goodness it does! What is this building doing outside the town walls? I'm sorry about the inconvenient location of this bakery. A bakery, you say? It's kind of dark and hard to see, but it looks like condiments. Welcome! This is the Nora Cake Shop. So, we can buy shortcakes here. I'm gonna go ahead and buy two of them. I think that we need shortcake for a side quest later. So might as well get it now, and probably end up holding on to it for a long time. So that, I believe, is a reference to Fantasy Star 1, where for no discernible reason there is a bakery in the middle of nowhere, on like the fourth sub-basement of a dungeon, where you need to go and buy some kind of cake or something there uh, to give as a gift to a governor or something. The plot of Fantasy Star 1 really did not make a whole lot of sense. Anyways, now that we've got that silliness out of the way, let us proceed to this cave. Ah, it's this dungeon music again. It's been a while. This is the ominous passageway. What kind of horrors await us? Zol slugs! Alright, so actually, let's start by just using our... Um, no, I changed my mind. I was going to say let's start by just using our attack everything macro, but no. Let's see how Blizzard does against these guys. It's super effective! A diamate. All right, and more Zul Slugs. Oof, that was quite the critical. Wow, all right, Chaz is not looking great. Let's go ahead and try the Blizzard attack again. That went... Oh. I should have had Han go first in that macro, huh? I sense a problem with my macro setup. All right. Problem identified, let us correct it. Uh, and also heal Chaz, because, man, he got wrecked. Good thing we upgraded our defense equipment. Picture how much he'd be getting his butt kicked if we hadn't. Let's use the monomates, I guess. All right, back in tippity-top shape. Oh, Rika's a little messed up, too. Um, okay, we'll just have Han cast a res on her. Watch Chaz get all juvenilely jealous or some nonsense. Yeah, I just made up the word juvenilely. What you gonna do about it? Okay. This macro is garbage. We need Han to cast Wat and then Chaz to cast Son. There we go. Alright. Uh, Alice can attack, then Rika can attack, and then Grizz. Alright. Looks good. Well, that <laughs> we get a chance to try out our new and improved macro right away. This is going to basically guarantee that they get at least some attacks off on us. Wrecked. Alright, I've become disoriented all of a sudden. Um, oh my god, random encounter rate. Oh, these are new guys. Speards. Odd name. But these guys are basically cultists of Zeos. Guarding the cave. Grizz. Since we got the drop on them, we were able to take them out before they acted, so we didn't get to see any of what they can do. What random encounter rate? Come on. Okay, the battles in here are tougher than I was expecting them to be. Why am I getting wrecked so hard? 
I know she can't. That was an accident. All right. Han. Uh, Enrica again. Man. Okay, that's just a dead end. All right, and that's backtracking. Okay, I think I'm oriented. Left or right? Let's try left. Okay, at least monsters are leaving us alone a bit now. All right, I'm thinking should have gone the other way. It'll either be... Well, it'll be a dead dead end either way, but it might lead to treasure. Um, Just for variety's sake, let's use Firestorm. All right, not terribly effective, really. Nice. Nice crit, Rika. Alrighty. What lies in this dir- Grizz gained a level. What lies in this direction? Okay, glad I checked. Eh, nothing exciting, though. Rika gained a level. Learned Eliminate. That's an insta-kill. Um, okay, I am amazed at how poorly this is going, to be honest. Am I under-leveled or something? And Chaz is already out of TP. Um, Han. Let's see. Heal up Chaz a bit. Heal Grizz. Jeez. Heal Alice. This is going so poorly. Dead end there, it looks like. We got to hear a full loop of the default dungeon theme. And we're out. What lies beyond? Destroyed town. Dead end over to the west. Probably to the northwest as well. Yes. What kind of enemies are here? Okay, just more Scrapyruses, nothing new. And yeah, Chaz doesn't have enough TP, so um, just regular attacks, I guess. Jeez, not even a single kill. All right, fine. Uh, I will actually have Han use Watt so he can be a little more useful. What is highly effective? All right. A second destroyed town. Okay, that one's not destroyed. Let's check it out. Catery. This place, this is the town of Catery. Have you come to visit Zeo's church as well? Er, no. Or have we? A church that spreads the teachings of a man named Zeo was erected in this town. Devotees come here from all over the place. I don't want to say it in a loud voice, but it sure is a big bother. You know what? Nix that. I think we are interested in attending Zeo's church after all. We have, shall we say, a great interest in the man. Pretty empty bookshelf. How about these? Likewise. And likewise. What is going on with those guys going overboard with this Zeo thing? It just makes my skin crawl. Why don't we get out of this town? So Zeo has taken this town over. His thugs have. We can probably infer that he has something to do with those towns that we saw destroyed to the west of here. Zeo says that the end of this world is coming soon. I wonder if that's true. Well, if Zeo has anything to say about it, it will be. That inn in the back of town. I used to frequent that place, but recently I can't go in even if I wanted to. Grr. Okay. Our daughter has become a follower of Zeo and won't come home. Well, if she's that dumb, maybe you're better off without her. Sorry, was that insensitive? Designer is getting a little lazy with their, uh... 
peek peer into other people's belongings text. If it is the fate of this planet to die anyway, we might as well pin all our hopes on this one man. Don't you agree? You're a moron. Uh, sir, sir, are you alright? Oh, Zio the Holy One. Okay. You just have fun doing that then. Did you come by the path to the north? In that case, you must have seen the town burnt to ruins on your way here. It's been said that was all due to Zio. I'm so afraid. Actually, we counted two burned towns. How pathetic. A full-grown adult like you crying for Zio. You have to be able to respect yourself before you can respect others, so grow up! I like this guy. Alright, we already talked to this dude. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah, things not looking great here, are they? What a suspicious statue. Kinda hard to make out what that's depicting, but we can assume it's something evil, I'm sure. Okay, that is a fancy-looking cathedral, but before we go in there... Looks like another town where we can actually go around. Alright, what's over here? Well, you're obviously dressed cultist if I've ever seen one. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Do you believe in Zeo's teachings? Hell no! In that case, become one of us at once. Otherwise, you will be purged by us. Oh yeah? Try it. What happens if we give the other answer? Ah, kindred spirit, glory be to the great Zeo. Purge the souls of the fools. Careful what you wish for, buddy. Huh? You've got some guts to bring a woman to a place like this, eh, boys? What's with you? How dare you eye me like that? Don't you know that we're Zeo's subordinates? Do you know how many of Zeo's subordinates I left lying in bloody piles in that cave back there? It's true that I don't have to worry about money to feed myself, but my hands are definitely becoming soiled. I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. If you follow Zeo, we can show you a good time, just like this. No thanks, buddy. I'm an introvert. And I don't drink either. So, pass. I've just been running this place like a regular inn, but one day Zeo's soldiers came. They said to just put everything on a running tab, but they never pay up. Oh. Rough life, dude. I think we might be able to help you with this problem. We won't even charge you for it. Unlike poor Han, who we charge for everything. Supplies. Oh my, such a little boy is a customer. How adorable. I'm going to give you some great service. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Oh, Chaz. I don't think you can handle this girl. But it, uh, it almost might be for the best if we leave you in there with her, because gosh dang, dude. There's being innocent, and then there's you. Still. We don't want Chaz catching any weird diseases. We wouldn't do that to him. What's in here? Aha! Laser Slasher! This is a fantasy star staple. Laser weapons. Awesome. What does, uh, what does the, uh, I, I want to see what the game says about the Laser Slasher, actually. Give me just a moment here. Laser Slasher, look. A slicer with a built-in laser emitting device. So cool. Okay. Let's check out that weird Cathedral of Zeo next. Fastest way to get there will be to just leave town, come back, and we magically teleport back to the entrance. Behold our power. Well, those are some friendly welcoming faces carved into the entrance Ooh, nice giant candelabras those ignorant masses living in idleness these are exactly the people that should be purged at the hands of zeo 
This is a church where we worship the great Zeo. Zeo says he's going to cleanse this soiled land with the fires of destruction. And then he's going to build a utopian society populated with only the finest citizens. How wonderful. The thought makes me tingle. <sighs> That's depressingly realistic, actually. How do people fall for stuff like this? Happens all the time, though. It's only we believers that Zeo will lead to the new world. Okay, crazy people. Zeo is at his fort where he teaches and guides us. How thankful we are to him. I came here from the Motavia Academy. Schoolwork is so stupid. I will say they have pretty cool looking outfits though. Credit where credit is due. Can I have one of these awesome black cloaks? Zeo! Zeo! Okay. I don't even want to know what that guy's doing. No one other than Zeo can save us from the uncleanliness of Motavia. Ah! Glory be to you, Zeo! He's fainted? How? How frightening. We can't talk to him now that he's fainted. This is scary. I wonder if this is an altar? I better not get too close. Uh, I think that's wise, Chaz. So, yeah. Zeo has a cult of personality going on here. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? Away from the crazies. And now, rather than... Well, actually, have I gone into that inn yet? Anything interesting going on in here? What do you have to say? Among the believers of Zeo, there's a saying that goes, The righteous do not ignore catering. Catery is a sacred area. Okay, then. Alright, nothing going on in here. Probably exorbitantly expensive, if I were to guess. I don't like that new church. Zeo's soldiers stay the night here, but I'm too afraid to collect room charges from them. It's just too much. Okay, 200 meseta. You know what? A penny saved is a penny earned. So, this may be a little cheap of me, but you win this time game. Fine, I'll pay your 200 meseta. Give me a room. All right. So, looks like there were no new weapon or armor shops here. Okay, enough messing around in Catery. Let's go kick Zeo's butt. Another destroyed town here. Zeo, you have caused way too many problems for far too long. It's time to put an end to your evil. But, uh, while last episode I incorrectly called it as a short episode, but it pretty much ended up being normal length, this one really is going to be a shorter episode because Zeo's fort, if my memory is accurate, is huge. So uh, it's pretty much going to be, I think, an entire episode unto itself exploring that place. So we're going to go ahead and cliffhanger at this time and save exploring Zeo's fort and confronting the evil magician for next time. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I'll see you then. Bye!